Lockheed Martin announced a successful flight test of the multifunction Electronic Warfare Air Large MFVWAL, an airborne electronic payload with attack and support capability. This MFEWAL test represented the first time in decades U.S. Army Electronic Warfare EW, soldiers successfully conducted a series of airborne electronic warfare against a variety of threat emitters. Additionally, this test marked a key milestone that moves the system closer from system development to initial production. MFEWAL is designed to detect, identify, locate, deny, disrupt and degrade enemy communications and radars. This flight test provided data on MFEWAL's extended range capabilities, exposing it to a series of tests designed to evaluate its ability to sense and affect a wide range of signals of interest at various distances. Previously flown on an MQ-1C Grey Eagle unmanned aircraft system, this test used an Army fixed-wing aircraft, MC-12W, allowing the team to demonstrate the system is platform agnostic and can be tailored to a variety of configurations. Strategic Perspectives MFEWAL is an innovative converged technology that addresses our customers' vision for combined cyber and electronic warfare capability and dominance, said Dion Gergutz, Vice President of Spectrum Convergence at Lockheed Martin. In collaboration with the U.S. Army, this demonstration expanded upon all testing of the MFEWAL system to date, bringing to bear a more complete hardware and software configuration that gets us closer to delivering this technology to our EW soldiers. Dive deeper. The MFEWAL, standing for Multifunction Electronic Warfare Aerial Layer, stands as a testament to cutting-edge technology and the Army's commitment to modernization. This system takes a pivotal role among all Army Electronic Warfare EW, systems by offering an unparalleled capability, the ability to see and engage targets at the furthest ranges. It's not just a piece of equipment, it's a key enabler of the Army's broader modernization priorities. At the heart of its prowess lies a robust system architecture based on the Modular Open System Standards CMOS. This foundation ensures that MFEWAL doesn't fall victim to vendor lock-in, and it remains agile in the face of evolving threats. This agility is crucial in today's dynamic mission environment where technology advances at a rapid pace. MFEWAL can swiftly adapt and integrate new technologies, keeping us ahead of adversaries in the ever-changing electronic warfare landscape. One of its standout features is its platform agnostic design. This flexibility allows MFEWAL to cater to a range of mission needs within a single, compact system. This adaptability is invaluable in the field, where mission requirements can shift rapidly, and having a system that can be easily configured to address diverse scenarios is a game-changer. Moreover, MFEWAL is fully autonomous, reducing the cognitive burden on operators and enhancing its effectiveness. Its demonstrated in-flight reprogrammability is a testament to its ability to adapt on the fly, ensuring that it remains a potent force in the evolving battlefield environment. This adaptability ensures that MFEWAL is not just a static piece of equipment but a dynamic and responsive component of multi-domain operations, MDO. In the grand scheme of Army modernization priorities, MFEWAL plays a pivotal role in supporting the assured positioning, navigation, and timing-slash-space cross-functional teams, CFT, network CFT, and long-range precision fires, LRPF, CFT. It's not just a tool, it's a cornerstone of the Army's strategy to maintain dominance in the modern, multi-domain battle space. MFEWAL is a testament to the Army's commitment to staying at the forefront of electronic warfare technology and ensuring that our forces have the edge they need to succeed in any mission.